Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of profits. Today, joined by Hey, my the gentleman of Guzzi. Yes, we're checking out another beer that we got from Beer Dome, the great sponsor that's been sponsoring the channel for numerous years now with amazing beer and also just some fun beers once in a while, like this one. So, thanks to Beer Dome for the beer. This is another beer from Birdie Oak, and this is part of their Dream series. And you've not had any of these, right? no. So, what they do with Dream is a series Dream. of uh, Dream, it's kind of pastry Dream. or uh, milkshake sours, if you want to say so. The base is a kettle sour, and they add something like lactose to sweeten it, and then uh, they add fruit. And you might think, well, lactose in a kettle sour won't the bugs eat up the the lactose, the the one the, the lactic bacteria. But if you if yeah if, if you know if it's uh, boiled, often you'll kill off the bacteria, so they won't eat. So it's just like you you sour it to where you want it, and then mm. you can use these all the things. But there's, you know, things will happen. You can't be 100% sure, but, but most happen. of, yeah, yeah. But I've never had a dream or a beer from Birdie Oak that's been, you know, a crazy sour that was supposed to be sweeter. But usually I don't like the idea of sweetening a sour beer. Uh, no, but I, I think some of them have been fun. So yeah. I, and it was just because I love watermelon. So I was like, <laughs> okay, I want to get this. Uh, so we got the strawberry watermelon version. 4.5%, it, it goes a bit against the idea of a sour beer, like trying to sweeten We'll see, I mean, some of them I were mean, tart, but they had yeah. some sweetness. But yeah, so this is 4.8% uh, made with strawberry watermelon and lactose. And it looks like they <clears> used <throat> real strawberry watermelon because it's not like pulpy red or anything because there's like next to no color in both fruits. Yeah. yeah. It looks like, almost like a New England IPA. It, yeah, it does. Hazy almost, golden yeah. orange. Yeah. With a white head. It's actually, I mean, it's a, it's a it's a quite beautiful beer actually. Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah. it's quite different from the other Dream beers. Yeah. But yeah. Dream. Let's check out the aroma. Let's do it. Ooh, <laughs> like I think instantly it smells like green strawberry, like yeah. underripe strawberry. I'm not. I don't know if I'm getting a lot of watermelon on the aroma. No, but it smells sour. Water. It does smell sour. It smells kind of like a Berliner Weisse or something yeah. like that. Yeah. So it, it, I will say it smells more authentic to what type of beer it's supposed to be but there is some sweetness like a milky sweetness yeah almost marshmallowy or something not all the way maybe but it's very light i can yeah. kind of sense watermelon but it's very light yeah and i think it's because they're using real watermelon i mean it's a very delicate flavor. Aroma, aroma like if you added watermelon yeah. flavor you get like yeah. that crazy nut stuff but it does there is a little bit of it but yeah it's it's the mildest Dream I've smelled so far. Okay. Well, let's try it. Cheers. Thanks to Beer Dome for the beer. Ooh, it's sweet. That is very sweet. It reminds me of Four Loco Watermelon. <laughs> it's got the same uh, kind of watermelon flavor. It, I mean, wow, it, that's kind of terrible. <laughs> it smells a lot more sour than, the, than it tastes, to be honest. Wow. This is, it's just, this is, I like most of Burley Oak stuff, but this is not far off from fucking, you know, drinking for Loco, just as low ABD. It's a similar flavor. It's like almost like strawberry watermelon cough syrup with yeah. like sweet lactose and a little bit of tartness. I, I think it would, <laughs> it would have been, it would have suited it to be more sour. I think that would have balanced out the sweetness a bit more, but it, it, it's too sweet. Fuck, this is a weird beer. There's also lime. Mm. There's a lactic sourness. Maybe not per se 100% for loco, but like you've mixed for loco with a kettle sour. I mean, this is on what, four? 4.8. 4. 4. This is almost harder to drink than some of the monkeys on 10% we've had right now. 100%. I mean, this is, yeah. It's a silly beer. I will say, I, this is the, my least favorite of all the dreams I've had. Uh, some of them are quite fun, but this is just like, it's just, for some reason it just reminds me of Four Loco, and I don't want craft beer to remind me of Four Loco. But I think it's because the last watermelon flavored, like, alcoholic beverage I had was Four Loco Watermelon. I think that might be why. I don't think it's terrible. Like, no. it's not like utter shit. No, no, it's, not, it's, it's not something, not, it's not something I you would... I can't go any higher than max an 80, like 325 or something it's like not, that. It's not a drain pour, but it's, uh, it's, no. um, 
I really wish that it had a, just a hint of sourness. But it, there is there is watermelon. This sip, okay, I will say this sip, I prefer liked it more. I got mm. more of a real yeah, watermelon. I mean, I guess you. I mean, when your palate get a bit, I mean, used to it. When when it, when it get because you think from the aroma you think it's a bit sour, and then you drink it and it's, it's not sweet. That, it's, it's sweet, yeah. but I mean. After your palate is like not getting used to it, but knows what to expect. Yeah, you taste more. Yeah. And actually, now I taste more watermelon than mm. strawberry. Mm. Well, there was more like the green strawberries and aroma, but much more watermelon in the taste. Yeah, I think I, I'm getting more and more watermelon. Actually, I'm enjoying it the more I drink it. Yeah. To be honest. it's. And then the more I drink it, the less it's like for loco. It's just like the first sip. It's just reminding me of for loco so much, like because of the watermelon flavor. Uh, but it's not much more than maybe like Max an eighty three. I don't even want to give it an eighty five. I think it's too sweet. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, I agree. But again, this style is not for me. I just and that's like well, then why the fuck did you pick it up? Because I love watermelon. I was like <laughs> maybe this is a little bit more tart or whatever. So it's just like, nope. let's just try it. And so once in a while I like to try these just for fun, because they can be a bit fun to try. Uh, just like sometimes you can you can get a food or a candy or whatever. It can be fun yeah. to try, but you don't like it yeah. too much. And that's kind of what I feel like with this. So yeah, I think it's like a 325 for me on untapped. Like, yeah. Of an 83. Yeah. Something I like agree. That. I agree. It's all right. It's fun beer, but it, like we just also had world class, amazing IPAs, and then we jumped to something like this. And then again, we're both not maybe too into it, but yeah, yeah. I'll say yeah. More watermelon the more you drink it, and then yeah. maybe not as terrible as the first reaction, but but yeah. Right. I mean, if it's if all you're, right. if you're into this kind of thing, I guess I, I mean, think a lot of people will like yeah, it a lot yeah. more than us. I mean, it's I, I don't know. To be, to be honest, I think like the the, the IPAs we do is actually more easily drinkable than this is. Yeah, and this is for. I, I mean, I would <laughs> I would definitely not drink this all by myself. To be honest, it would be cloying. Yeah, it would. So, well, there you go. Yeah, that's our two cents. We just thought we should check it out. So, or I thought. So this is uh, well. Thanks to Beardome for the beer or for the fun experience. Uh, but yeah, this is just for the Birdie Oak Strawberry Watermelon Dream. You know, they also do these with Coca-Cola flavor and Mountain Dew and all kinds of crap. It's, but then it's, it's not almost, crazy. it's almost not beer anymore. Yeah, I know. But technically, it's a kettle sour with these flavors, but because, you know, it's brewed like a beer, but it just doesn't taste like one. Yeah. By the book, it is a beer. But yeah, if you guys had to let us know, it's always... It's, uh, it's flavored beer. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> I do. So if you guys had to maybe put flavored malt liquor like, <laughs> like they do in the oh. But if you guys had a chance to try the watermelon and strawberry G-Ream from Bird Yoga, that's when we thought of it. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, share on the Facebook fan page, Twitter, and Instagram, put the video thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Ring the bell for future notifications about beer reviews, and we're going to say cheers. And see you guys in another one.